I'm Luke Seerveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're going to talk about knots. Uh, we're just going to go over a, a, a few of the basics, like, uh, you know, uh, overhand bow, uh, clove hitch, trucker's hitch, bowlin, and maybe we'll find some other ones along the way. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start with uh, just skinning up an 8x. Okay, so uh, it's just a regular bow, like you tie your shoes. So overhand, loop, once around, and then you can pull that last one, and then it's an easier wrap. It's just one pull for the wrap. So, and if you're right-handed, and you put your right arm over the frame, then that last loop is, is easy and then it's not hanging down into your shot. Not a big deal, but uh, a quick little tip. So loop and pull. And then on the corners, you can go ahead and release the elastic and just tie that corner and that will uh, save on the longevity of your, your elastic corners. Okay, so that's real simple, right? Uh, but while we're at it, why don't we talk about um, this simple loop, tying your shoes. So, let's pull these apart a minute. Okay, there you go. So, I got long uh, ends, overhand, and that first loop, instead of just once around, you go twice around and pull it through, and that will hold a lot longer than what you've been using before probably. And then I just do overhand and square knot. So overhand and square knot. There you go. All right, a uh, little bonus there. Okay, so now you wanna tie this off. Uh, first I'm gonna tie it off on the back end, and then we'll tie it off on the front end. So this is a highlight, and it's uh, it's in the same family as half soft frost. It's a little um, heavier. Uh, it's, it's actually it's probably lighter as a diffusion, but it's heavier as a fabric. So uh, I actually like half soft frost better, but that's what I have in eight by. So um, all right, let's. Uh, normally, you know, you tie off to the corners, um, maybe two lines even if, if if it's a bigger frame. You know, it's a, a twelve by or twenty by or bigger. Um, but uh, just with an eight by here, uh, you know, one's probably fine. Uh, and I'm gonna just do it to the center so it's uh, easier to show. Okay, so there's a number of different uh, types of line you can use. There's a sash cord. There's also a spot cord version of this that has a red flex in it. Uh, it's a little stronger. And there's a hemp, uh, which I don't know. I don't like working with it that much. And then this is just a a sort of a nylon line that I got at Home Depot. So nothing great shakes about it, uh, but uh, it works. And um, so we'll just um, start with a, uh, a clove hitch right here. So up and over, then cross, and come up in between, and you make an X, and then a little half hitch on the end. All right, so let's do that again. Up and over, cross, and back through, making an X. And then a little half hitch. And the half hitch is, if it's just really windy and it's taken off, then that clove hitch won't come undone because you've got that half hitch in there. Okay, so now uh, you wanna tie off the other end to whatever is stationary. It's not gonna move uh, like a car, <laughs> but every once in a while you do tie off to a bumper. Yeah, just cause, but make sure that you take the keys out uh, so no one drives away on you. And, uh, you know, so it can be to, uh, to a house, you know, to a pylon, to a bull prick that you uh, uh, 
you know, hammer into the ground, but you got to watch out for, for uh, uh, pipes and, and uh, irrigation. Uh, trees, like I did in the back there. Uh, so, you know, even a rock. Uh, right now, I'm just going to use a bunch of sandbags. And if you've got a pair like that, it's nice to use a, a carabiner to uh, put them together. And that way, it's uh, you don't have to pass your line all the way through. You can just uh, slip it on. Okay. And then uh, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to do it from this side. So a bunch of different ways of doing trucker stitch. I mean, there's lots of different ways. Basically, you're you're putting a loop. So that's a a bend. You're you're putting a a a bite. So a bend in the middle of a line is a bite. You're putting a bite here and making a loop out of it. Uh, so lots of different ways of making loops on a bite. Uh, one way is people like to spin, 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 and then pull through. And so it's a, it's a, a slip knot still, but it's got some extra uh, winds on it. Uh, or just a regular slip knot. And then, and then you can cinch down on that. I don't really like the whole slip knot deal because it's still a slip, uh, and uh, there's movement there. So um, what I prefer is bringing the end and crossing it over, and then pulling this up, making your loop out of out of the, the rope that you're bringing around, and then you're basically making the knot here by turning, making two loops. So you've got two loops now, and then this last one, you put that in and you cinch that in as a little, little hitch. And now you've got that nice loop, and you can bring this around and tie off. So let me show you that again. The main thing is to put this over this line. And then you're making a loop out of the line. Loop. Loop. And in at the end to safety it. And now you pull it. And this becomes your your cinch off, and boom, like that. Okay, all right, let's talk about just some other sort of basic knots. So, bowling on the end of a line. Again, it's that kind of, you come over and you make a loop out of twisting it. And then it goes under and back in through the way it came. And then you have that sort of saddle there. So, and that's just a nice loop that won't slip. Okay, let's do that again. So you're coming up and over, and you're making a, a, a loop. It's an underhand loop there, and up and over, and back in through the way you came. So there you go. Now this is good for, um, you can sling it under the, the bale uh, and onto the uh, pin of a light if you're lowering it down, uh, or pulling it up you know, to a balcony or the top of a, a scaffolding or, or a roof. Um, you know, the art department's got the uh, elevator clogged, so you're trying to get some stuff out to uh, start loading the truck. Um, nice way to uh, hand stuff, uh, to uh, lower stuff down. And um, no disrespect to the art department. Uh, and also, it's a, it's a safety loop. So, you know, if for some reason uh, you're lowering yourself down from a helicopter, uh, this would be uh, a loop that you could use. And uh, depending on the rope, it's, uh, it'll pull you to safety. So there's that. Then um, uh, you can do a bowline on a bite. So again, uh, anything uh, in the middle of a line is a bite. Uh, a loop in the middle of a line is a bite. So you would put the lines together and you make that same loop and back in through the way you came. And now you've got two loops and that extra one. But you've got two loops 
uh, that's your bowling on a bike. To me, it's a little messy. So uh, I prefer, and there's different fancier knots for this too, but um, my version is just, uh, I call it Luke's loop because I haven't seen anybody uh, do it like this, but it's, uh, it's just a slip knot. And then you do with the, uh, the slip part, you do another hitch over that. And now you've got two lines you can pull and you've got a fixed loop, not a slip knot in, uh, in the middle, which is great for tying stuff off in a truck um, where you, know, you could have a regular trucker's hitch or whatever, but uh, if you want a fixed loop in that line but not have too much extra line around um, or you know, bends and stuff, uh, that's a quick, easy way. So let me do that one more time. Okay, so slip knot, simple slip knot, and then an extra loop on top of that. And boom, you've got a loop in the middle of a line. Okay, so uh, the last thing I'd like to show you is just um, putting your rope away. Okay, so uh, you wanna have that rope lie flat against itself. So you might have to twist it a little bit to make it do that. And I'm not doing overhand, I mean, uh, over under or anything like that, just, you know, regular Hollywood wind and uh, over, over. And then when you get to the end, there's two ways to go. You could either come all the way to the end, almost all the way to the end, and then just take the end and wrap that around. And then the last one, you come through and cinch it like that. Or if you've got a number of these hanks, as they're called, uh, make your loop and wrap that around and then bring the loop through. And now uh, if you've got other hanks, you can put those loops on here and then hook the one on uh, on the hook in the truck or wherever it's going. So uh, uh, that's a nice way to finish off your rope uh, at the end. And you can do that too when you're uh, tying off on a, uh, on a frame. Now we've got all this extra line. Well, instead of just leaving it on the ground, let's neaten it up so people don't trip on it as quickly and so then we just come around and you can throw this loop now over the top and there it can hang like that so uh, pretty straightforward uh, again that last loop so you're 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 wrapping the line just as you would. And then the last little bit, I'm getting a little squirrely here, you just send that through your final loop. Now you've got a loop and you put the loop over the top, cinch it down and it can hang there and doesn't get in people's way. So there you go. Uh, Hope that's been helpful, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. While we're at it, here's a figure eight knot. And now you've got a loop. You can do that on a bite or you can do it on the end.